In this video, I wanted to share with you one of my favorite short side gun bunch passing concepts in Madden 22. This is going to teach you a really great little play out of the bunch formation to really attack 30 yard clouds, attack really any coverage, any and all coverages in Madden 22. Now, if you are new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. We're going to be showing you this defense or I'm sorry, this offensive play uh, primarily against the meta, which is the double Mabel out of the Mike Blitz 3. In addition to that, we'll also show it against some man coverage as well as some match coverage. And uh, let's go ahead and jump into the video. We're in the Indianapolis Colts playbook. If you guys want to boot up on play uh, or on practice mode, we're going to be in the Colts playbook today. And the play that we're going to be talking about is the play verticals um, out of the Indianapolis Colts. You can find this verts halfback underplay in a lot of different playbooks. It is probably widely considered by most pro players to be the best play in Madden. And it's because it's a very complete concept and there's a lot that you can do with it. I'm going to give you two, two primary setups today. Uh, and then we're going to talk about why it is so good. Now, the first thing that I want to show you about this is ideally what you want to do with it is you want to run with your bunch to the short side of the field. That makes this play, I think, significantly more effective because it's going to give this crosser a lot more room to run. If you really look closely at the crossing route there, you're going to notice that it's very similar to the crossing route out of the um, out of the play verticals from most formations. And those verticals crossing routes oftentimes will be able to get over the top of a 30 yard cloud flap so if you if you watch this crosser you're going to see that that cloud on the outside kind of looks like he's going to guard it but you'll see that crosser will literally just continue a smooth run right over the top of that defender and as you can see um, i'm on the 20 yard line so it's 30 yards to the 50 and i think i got that ball all the way um, to my opposite side 30 yard line so probably about a 40 to 50 yard uh, deep crosser we'll show it to you again here and just pass that straight up and you see how good of a route that is now if you have deep out elite on that player it, it, it does help the route make sure that he catches it consistently on the sideline now another thing that I want to show you really quickly here and I'm actually gonna reset my zone drops and I'm gonna move the ball over here to this side because I want to show you why I think it is significantly better to run your bunch to the short side this year, probably better than it's ever been because wheel routes to the short side of the field are better than they've ever been. And so I'm going to show that I'm going to grab the uh, cover two, which the cover two is probably the best defense in the game for defending wheel routes. The problem is most people lab to defend wheel routes to the wide side of the field. So I'm going to go to the cover two here. We're going to shade our coverage down, put our cloud flats back out there. And what you'll notice is this wheel route to Gronkowski, um, it kind of gets guarded, right? I mean, you can throw it right there, but that's a tight window. Unless you're a really good passer, that can be kind of hard to throw. But what I want to do now is I want to do the same exact coverage, and we're going to move the ball to the short side of the field, and you're going to notice that this vert hook is going to get sucked in. Now, I've done a lot of videos on this um, on my channel explaining that vert hooks are playing in a grid system, and what I mean by grid system is they're going to play from the – from the hashes to the numbers. That's really their primary area, really kind of focusing in more so to the numbers, but they're gonna be sucked inside if the route goes outside or just outside the numbers. Well, if you look at the verticals tight end route, you're gonna see that it does just that. And so you'll see that this vert hook kind of gets sucked down and I can easily throw that over the top of that player. Now, um, if I were to run the running back on a wheel here, and then let's say I did kind of something like this, if you will, I'm going to do that same exact coverage. Now, notice that the running back um, is in a situation where where is he going to break on his wheel? His wheel is going to break just inside the numbers. If you take a look closely at this, that means that that vertical hook is going to play it decently. It's not going to play it perfectly, but it is going to play it better um, than it would on the other side. So that's why I like to run my short side bunch because this tight end route is going to be really, really, really good in the short side now um, there's another setup that you can do where basically you know we're going to shade our, our vert hook outside and i'll just show you what this looks like for the most part like i said it doesn't matter what they do the vertical hook won't guard this 
because again where is the route breaking it's breaking outside of the numbers to me that is a huge 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 tip um, for your wheel routes you want your wheel routes to break outside the numbers. so if you want to run a wheel to the left that's fine um, just be aware that a vertical hook can defend that and I'll show that real quickly um, one of the other setups for this play or one of the main setups for this play is to take the running back and just put him on a wheel and then quick snap the ball basically and what you'll see is this does just fine and notice how that vert hook kind of falls back um, even though he's kind of in the area to defend this and that's what makes I think wheel routes so darn hard to guard um, is no matter what they do it, it, it really is difficult to stop a wheel and you got that side wheel and then you've got this side wheel and so kind of wherever that wherever you feel like is open you can hit it now another thing that I want to quickly point out about this coverage and then we're gonna get into some man coverage real quick is if you take a look at this you're gonna notice that this is a cover two that's how most people get their vertical hooks on the field if they're in a cover two coverage you'll notice that this uh, wheel on the right side is gonna break upfield faster and you just pass lead that straight up once he gets over the cloud and as you can see this can be an absolute bomb against the cover two coverage so they have to kind of play you know again a little bit of a different style of defense so they're going to probably have to be you know in some type of cover three type of defense just like this right here on that side maybe a cover two to the left so kind of like a cover three cloud if you will and to be able to stop that the problem with that is if they don't have a um, if they don't have a cloud, a lot of times you can pass lead that route to the outside because the tight end will pull in um, a lot of those like curl flat type of zones, just like you saw right there. If I was to go with a hard flat, let me show you that. So if I were to go with like a hard flat coverage, then what you'll notice here is he'll get out there, but now look who's wide open. So it's just a game of chess, um, but this 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 play right here is insane. It's so good, um, and it, it has the crosser. It has two wheels here, and then of course you can create a third wheel in this concept. Um, one thing that you might consider doing is motioning the running back to the outside. Notice what it does to his wheel. You're gonna see that it puts his wheel in a little bit of a different position. So it just might be something that you might want to mess with, and you know, again, you got to work on the user catch of that. But that is another element of this. And then the last thing that I wanted to show you was an alternate setup uh, for this concept, one that I really like, and uh, it's just a little bit more uh, streamlined. It's a, it's also a short side concept. Um, you can also, if you want to, if you want to play a little, if you want to play a little chess with them motion this receiver to the outside it does in my opinion help the play um just because you see that it, it, it opens up more space there and then like let's say that they are in like a just a standard traditional uh cover three coverage where that's a curl flat defender you see it just opens this it opens that throw right there to gronkowski up so smoothly um and so easily now the next setup that I wanted to break down with you is kind of a variation of that. And, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to block our tight end. We're going to put Scotty Miller on a smart routed in route. And then you can either leave him where he's at or you can motion him to the outside. Now this play is going to be a little bit better if they are in man to man because you've got this little running back in route that is really good against man coverage this year. You see it's like a little speed burst in route. And it just roasts the man coverage. It's very, very effective this year uh, for beating man coverage. So you have that route. Um, a lot of people say that cover one robber plays verticals decently, but I'll show you real quickly here. Um, you have this little fade on the left side. If he gets a step on that player, don't be afraid to try him. Eric Stokes obviously has a lot more speed than Mike Evans does, but I just wanted to say don't be afraid to try him. If you have hot route master and they're playing a lot of man coverage, one thing that you should not ever be afraid to try against this man coverage, if they're playing a lot of man, go ahead and put this guy on a smart routed skinny post. He'll still pull the zones vertically, but now you have now you have that post over the top. Okay, so just kind of throwing something out there again. If they're doing man and two purples, and you know they're not really worrying about the post, you could put the post out there, and it will it will cook man most of the time. Um, and then the other thing that I wanted to show, you don't have to put this tight end on a block, but I like to just add a protection. Um, and again, I like to motion this guy out. And smart routed in routes this year are really good at beating man to man. 
as you can see just right on the cut throw an inside pass lead low ball and that should get pretty decent separation and then the last key route that i want to show and you see i mean this is really easy to set up too but was, like you could set these up these plays up really fast um but this crosser is not the best against man um at least from cover one robber so i recommend like if you want to put someone there that has like deep out elite and maybe a route tech i think that's helpful for this offense um just because it centers so much around that player but what you'll see here is again it kind of gets bumped a lot of times this crosser will get wide open um against the defense so that is the verticals play literally one of the most difficult plays to defend in mad 22 so if you want to learn the rest of my bunch ebook i've got it in my patreon membership um that'll be linked in the description by joining the patreon you'll get all my ebooks i've got over 20 offensive and defensive guides available so if you want to sign up for that there's a link in the description below and you can go check out the patreon membership